first, the first mention that I have found of hydrogen being potentially therapeutic was, was by an Italian uh, uh, medical doctor in 1793. And he wrote about how hydrogen inhalation of, you know, three parts hydrogen and four parts the oxygen. Yeah, I forget what he said, but it had this uh, an inflammatory type effect for, in the lungs. It was just a small blurb in, in, a, in a very old book that I, I came across. It was very interesting. But, but then the next study would, was probably in 1975, and it was done as a, using a hyperbaric hydrogen chamber. And it was oh. done by uh, Texas A&M and Baylor University. And they published it actually in Science, which is one of the top peer-reviewed journals there are. And they used a transplant of melanoma tumors and found that this hyperbaric hydrogen treatment was effective at regressing the melanoma tumors. But they used like eight atmospheres of pressure, so it's really not clinically feasible. And so not a lot of research came after that. But then there was the article published in 2007 in Nature Medicine, which is one of the, again, one of the top peer-reviewed uh, peer medical journals, most respected, cred credible medical journals. And this is actually the article that I came across in 2009, which got my interest because it is a credible journal. And it was a very interesting because it showed that uh, inhalation of molecular hydrogen was effective at suppressing brain damage from a middle from, from, from basically cerebral infarction induced by a middle cerebral artery occlusion. So they stopped the blood flow and then that caused a lot of brain damage. But when you inhaled the hydrogen gas in, the, in this uh, animal model, it was effective at suppressing brain damage. And that's really when I came across that article, I was like, wow, this, this is very fascinating, very interesting. This is something that could be done for, for health, for anti-aging, for longevity, for who knows, because of course at that time there was hardly any research articles. And so I started you know, scouring all the uh, PubMed literature on all the scientific journals and found some good, good journal, journals in the like APS and, and some other top you know, peer-reviewed articles and found, yeah, there is some good evidence on molecular hydrogen that really gives me the, a desire to want to study this more. And then finally I was able to go to Japan and study at Nagoya University for, for an internship where I could actually research the mechanism. As my background is biochemistry, so I have, that's my primary interest, interest is how does hydrogen gas actually have this, this therapeutic beneficial effect in the cell? How is it actually working? And, and there's been talk about how it acts as an antioxidant, like scavenging, directly reacting with uh, hydroxyl radicals, which, which could happen in an in vitro setting, but probably does not happen in the body because of you have a competition kinetics, because the reaction rate of hydrogen gas by is radical, it's a, it's a biomolecular reaction with a rate constant that's um, second order is 10 to the seventh uh, moles per, per mole per second. Anyway, it's kind of it's slow when you consider other radical reactions. And so uh, really that's not, not probably not what's going on, and we're just publishing a, a couple of papers on that, uh, that, that that's probably not what's going on. Some other things are happening instead. But the fact is, is hydrogen does still exert a prominent antioxidant type effect through its cell modulating activities. So these are the types of things that really gets me interested because number one, it's in my area of passion of biochemistry. It's in my area of you know, exercise and longevity and health and wellness. And it's something that's safe and something that has appears to have such great benefit for all of humankind.